What is up, WH Life? Thank you for stopping by. Today, we will be doing a duck calling um, video. But before we get into that, I just want to say shout out to all my people, Tank and especially Tammy Tamster. Thank you guys for always supporting me. Um, and I know I have not done a video in a long time. I haven't done a video since last month was that easy car trick video. Um, but yeah, um, we're almost at 40 likes or 40 subscribers, that'd be awesome if we could get there. But we're gonna be doing duck calling. It, I know if you are, um, it, duck season's closing, um, so that's kind of sad, but duck season is closing in certain area, in certain states. Um, Kentucky, it's closing Kentucky, um, pretty sure, and then Georgia, it's, um, it closes tomorrow. Um, so we're just going to be doing some duck calling though, but for like Mississippi and Arkansas, it doesn't close for another, I believe, two weeks. So, but we're just going to be doing some basic calls today. Um, we're going to have three parts to this video. Um, it's going to be just the basic, um, duck call, and then we're going to go into the more advanced duck calls. So, hope you guys like this video. Let's get right into right. it. So the next part to this video is this, the normal duck call. We have two kinds of duck calls here. We have this Remington, and then we have this like um, Alt or whatever. It's a this is my favorite one, um, um, and then this is my second favorite because this one, um, it it's, it's a little more deeper and it's kind of a um, more growling kind of call, as you can hear. And this one's like this one's like more of that hot like lower call once you like start like blowing into it like. If you can hear that, it's kind of sounds different than this one. It sounds a little bit different, as you might may or may not be able to tell. Um, but we're just gonna use this one today. Um, um, and then we're going to have a second part to this video. Um, it gets, so we have easy, medium, and then hard, and then hard is where it gets to like the feeding calls and the handling calls and stuff. Um, but we will be coming out with the video every. We're gonna try to do it every week, um, so yeah. Um, so let's just get into the first clock. So um, if you're gonna ever want to do a, if you're ever gonna want to duck call a lot, um, you're gonna want to mostly have the hailing call. The hailing call is probably one of the hardest calls um, because you have to get it perfectly pitched. Um, so we're not going to be doing the hailing call in this video, but we will be doing the, just the normal clack. So is, the normal clack is just, you just blow in it from your diaphragm, try to use your diaphragm. So you just go, you just go like, you want to stop with that at the end. And what that helps in the long one is when if you can get that down, you can do the hailing call. As you can hear, I did that every time I ended when I went from high to lower. I always got that T at the end, that T at the end. Um, and that'll help you with uh, almost every call, actually, the feeding call. <laughs> That'll help you with the feeding call too. Um, so you just want to get that quack down. Once you can get that quack down, you can learn any other call um, for at least, you know, like mallards or something. Um, so we're just going to keep practicing that quack. You're just going to go. <coughs> just you want to give it three basic ones. I'm going to try this one out. I know I was going to say I was going to use it, but I'm going to just try it out. <coughs> Ooh. I like this one better because it sounds more deeper and kind of sounds like an actual duck. This one is deeper for all the other calls. This was a perfect clack call. And what you can do is if you want to, because um, if you want to, you can start by practicing the hailing call if you want. Um, and you just go... But when you start doing it fast... Um, and for diff, there's different calls for this one. I use dig and then uh, so it sounds like <laughs> this one. When I, when you blow on it a little too hard, it kind of goes. 
and it, it, ha it kind of breaks out through the end. But if you use this one, I use tick. Uh, so you always have that uh at the end. So you, I, I use this one though, for tick. It sounds a little bit better, but um, you just want to start off slow. So like. So you want to get those. You want to do about five feeding calls um, and you count. Um, to five and then you then you will do three quacks and then you go back and then after that second time of doing the feeding call you stop um depends on what kind if you're like if you if, you, if it's just by yourself or you have a group and then you just kind of want to stop give about just a little bit of time and then you want to start back up so it would be like stop um and the feeding call usually if birds are coming if if the birds are up high and they're and they're starting to circle you want to use it really loud so <laughs> you can still do it loud and slow but then if you if you, if you see these birds coming in you want to go <laughs> um and you probably have other duck cars um if it's like you and four other people, there's probably gonna be another guy that has a duck call. Um, um, and the, if it's just you calling, that's great. But you wanna have a multiple calling because usually if I'm doing a feeding hail call, I'll use this one and this one at the same time. Um, but back to the quack, you just wanna get that quack down because once you get that quack down, the quack took me a long time to learn and then after the quack i did the feeding and then from the feeding i went to the hand leg so it kind of goes um easy medium hard um quack feeding hail um um so yeah that's literally almost about it you just want to get that quack down that easy simple quack all you want is And you can do it certain different pitches. If you want to go like deeper, you just kind of go it softer. <coughs> but if you see birds high, you can go. <coughs> but that is an alerting call. So you do not want to do the. <coughs> That's an alerting call, which you don't want to do. But if you just do it softly. <coughs> That's not an alerting call. Um, what the alerting call does is it says there's people here we need to get out of here that's what the ducks are thinking um, so that's really it for this video guys I hope you guys enjoyed um, this video um, but what I was saying is the hail call is different so once you learn the quack you'll be able to do all kinds of calls like the feeding and hailing call like this <laughs> Switch it around. I'll use this one for feeding and this one for hailing. <laughs> um, so that's it for this guy's videos. Make sure you practice that quack, that three easy quacks. Um, after you do those three easy quacks, wait about five seconds and then do it again so you can just let your um, diaphragm just um, rest. And you want to make sure it's coming from here and not just you're blowing on. <laughs> You don't want to make sure it's like that. You just want it to be coming from your diaphragm and try to put some air into it from your chest and then it'll sound great. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will be coming out with another video. Hopefully, um, what's today? Saturday. So, it is Saturday. Um, it is Saturday, January 30th. Maybe it's the 31st. Yeah, it's the 30th. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Shout out to everyone. Um, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.